Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I'm just going to talk about two topics, why I don't weigh myself and the jeans challenge, which I've been talking about. So it has been a week since I've been on my diet and so far, so good. I've been sticking to the plan, which I'm super happy with. So let's get on the first topic. So I'm not weighing myself at the moment. I did weigh my start weight. And then when I get to go away, I'm going to weigh myself again. That's the only two times I'm going to weigh myself. And I'm going to tell you the reason why I'm not doing weight this time. Is I've weighed myself so many times. And like, say for instance, the comfortable number for me is usually 12 to 13 stones. For some reason, when I get to 12 to 13 stones, I go back off. I've noticed that. I go back off the wagon. Like, the diet just somehow comes out of the window. And that's usually where I slip up. Another reason why I'm not weighing myself is, I don't know if this has happened to anyone, but in so many, like I said, I've been in yo-yo diet for so long now. And one thing I've noticed is that in previous diets that I've been on, I've worked so, so hard. Like, I've stuck to the plan, done my workouts, done everything what I was supposed to do. Then I step on the scales and I either see half a pound or a pound off. And sometimes I'm going to be real with you. I know they're like, it's good, it's half a pound, you know, these little half a pounds add up. But you know when you want to see like at least a two pound or three pound this week because you know you really pushed it. And then you see those results, it kind of makes you feel a bit down, if that makes sense. And it frustrates you. Because you're like, I've put in all that hard work and that's all I've lost. So it's like a numbers thing. I feel like it's a numbers thing where it does play with your head kind of thing. So that's why I'm not weighing myself. And another thing I've noticed, even if, say, for instance, you've lost half a stone. You try on a pair of trousers now. And your trousers fit. So it's showing you you've lost, like, you've lost something, like, inches. But you might not lost physical weight. So... I now you can see I'm concentrating more on my inches than my weight because I like I said it's about my clothes and I want to feel good in my clothes so that's why I'm not weighing myself so those are the two reasons number one like I said it's I get to a certain point where I start seeing some numbers I like to see and then I don't carry on with my diet the number two I work so hard step on the scales and then I've only lost less than what I wanted to lose. Do you know what I mean? Even though I have lost, but it's just less. So yeah, those are the reasons why I'm not weighing myself. Well, everyone knows that most diets, they love to advertise, especially if you watch when New Year's come, every single diet out there, when New Year's time comes, they're gonna be like, drop a dress size in 30 days, Drop a jean size in 30 days. Do this in 30 days. So that's what I'm going to do. So instead of waiting till Jen when everyone's starting, like I said, I have to start now because I'm in that mindset and I just want to start now. So for me, I'm going to do drop a jean size. I just realized the jeans that I've got, they are actually jeggings. They're not jeans, but there was a reason why. They were just really reasonable jeans I wanted loads of jeans in smaller sizes but they had to, like a sell on so I just saw these jeans and I just got them so yeah so basically I'm now currently on in a size 20 and I'm trying to get back into my size 18 so that's how I'm going to measure myself that I am losing weight is once I can fit in my jeans and when I mean fit I mean fit comfortably not fitting tight like I'm getting in my jeans no i want my jeans to feel comfortably so what i did do i stopped off to my favorite shop primark which i'm always going to and i had these jeans on sale so i know it sounds crazy but i have bought jeans in every single size so i've got 18 which i'm trying to get into then i've got my 16s then i've got 14 12 and I stopped at 10. I thought I bought 8, but I did stop at 10. I don't know. I think they were sold out of these. So that's why I had to just get 10s, but it's fine. 
Um, so the first goal I'm trying to get to is obviously my 18s. At the end of every single month, I'm going to try on a pair of jeans, a size smaller than what I currently am, and see if they fit. So it's like still the same drop a jean size in 30 days, but I'm just going to be doing it that way. So that's the way I'm measuring it. I'm more measuring it by inches than weight. So then by the time I get to like my size 10s or size 8, if I pick up an 8, I'm going to get it down to that. Then I'm going to weigh myself, see how much I weigh, if I'm round about the average, because you know you have to go by the, um, the BMI. So if I'm like within the BMI, then I'll stop there and I've reached my goal. Um, if I do have to drop it a couple of pounds, then I'll drop it a couple of pounds, but then that's it. I'm there. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's it's a, another way to look forward to losing weight. So, yeah, that's a bit more on why I'm not weighing myself and the jeans challenge. So, as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. So, take care now. Bye.